Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy JP. And in today's video, I wanna share with you how I managed to grow a fitness channel to over a million views and uh, almost 10K subscribers, uh, YouTube fitness channel. So if you check my channel, JP Fitness 123, uh, you'll see I have a channel dedicated to fitness, specifically helping guys to improve their physique and improve their shape and be proud of their bodies. So this channel has been going on since 2018, I believe. So yeah, that's like six years. Um, but my other channel was a bit earlier than that. It's probably, sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit of a newer channel. So it'll be four or five years. So it's taken a long time. I haven't been posting consistently. I've had fits and spurts, but essentially how it worked was, or how I managed to get these views was, I started off by just posting out any content I felt was relevant. So I was doing a lot of vlogging style videos. I was doing a lot of videos where I'd be explaining different workouts, very low quality, explaining mental mindset principles. And I remember I had a video basically start getting attention where I talked about how I got rid of my butt fat. And for some reason that one hit, hit, uh, clicked a bell or clicked, clicked with people more than my other videos about me lifting heavy weights and, and talking about nutrition. In fact, a lot of the most popular YouTube fitness videos are about people and their butt sticking out, and for, for guys anyway, anterior pelvic tilt, you check Athlean X or you check uh, Jeremy FVR. A lot of their videos are helping people with their posture and things like that. So that's like a little trend. And I started creating videos and yeah, I'm over a million views. One video is almost half a million. And uh, it's weird because it's, it was like my most insecure topic to talk about. And it just resonated with a lot of people. And even today I still get, I'm getting about 30,000 views a month. I get people downloading my free ebook and signing up to my mailing list, like five a day, which is great. And it's just, I haven't posted a video in months. It's just, it's just growing itself. I've been posting shorts lately. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's an asset. Who knows what will happen in the future? I've had people booking calls. It's not really been the best avenue for high ticket clients. A lot of my, my tribe are young, young insecure guys. Um, a lot of who are still actually studying in school, but they'll grow up and they'll, they're still gonna be into fitness and, and that can be there to serve them as well. So yeah, so I'd say if there was gonna be any main points on how to grow a fitness YouTube channel, not that I'm the expert, but from my experience already is, uh, I wouldn't even say it's post regularly and post often because it's more quality. So this is one thing I learned from Mr. Beast is quality over quantity. So that's why I haven't really been posting as well. Oh, I wanna make the next videos like really good, really worth watching. Um, the video that has actually got the most views, almost half a million was I uh, literally scripted the whole thing, storyboarded. I planned in advance that I was gonna talk about this and then I would film this to match with that part of the video. It took a lot of work, but it's paid off. Uh, YouTube pays out the, the ad revenue as well. Nothing crazy, but um, a couple hundred a month, which is nice at, at times. Just a little uh, bit, of, bit of change, bit of pocket money. Can't complain for doing nothing. The videos are just going out there. And more importantly, it's just getting, bringing the, bringing the audience in. So I've got their emails, I've got their contact details, and on the back end, I can sell them coaching, I can, I can serve them with other, other things as well, um, to help them solve their problems. So that's the real magic of YouTube. You don't have to keep on pumping content. It's like evergreen. Whenever people search lose butt fat, you could probably search it now on Google or YouTube, lose butt fat. You'll probably see one of my videos come up. Um, yeah, so one quality over quantity. Number two, this is something I heard from Elliot Hulse. He's like, show your, <laughs> show your ass. Uh, and I literally did that <laughs> by talking about my situation, but it's like anything, just show something. What are you most embarrassed about? What is your real reason you got into training and fitness? Like, was you just embarrassed about how you felt? Did you hate looking at yourself in the mirror? Did you feel uncomfortable in clothes? Did you feel not enough, inadequate? Whatever it is, however embarrassing it is, just talk about it because there's gonna be a million people who have the same problem as you, but can never express it. 
So my whole thing about having a fat butt, like I could not, I could still can't talk to anyone about it. I've got an internet tribe that understands me. But whenever I tell anyone, anyone I know, they literally laugh or they just like confused, scratching their heads. And even if I share my channel, I'm going to put a link to it. You'll be surprised. Just read through the comments and you'll see how much people care and it's how big a part of this problem is for their lives. And that's the beautiful thing about the internet is that you can create a tribe. It's like you're watching this. You obviously are watching this. You probably have an interest in fitness and business. So this is your little, tr this is your little hub to go to and you look at the comments uh, and you can see other people around you have the same thing. And that's the beauty of the internet. You can go, the, the more niche you get, the better you can get. The more niche you get, the more traction you can get. So it's better to go like narrow and deep than out, out wide where you're competing with everybody. There's a really good book called um, Blue Ocean Strategy. And basically how you wanna be a category of one, you wanna be the leader. So when it comes to losing butt fat, I'm like one of the leaders in the world. I can say that confidently. But if it comes to losing weight, I'm like nobody. If it comes to building muscle, I'm nobody. If it comes to nutrition, I'm nobody. But losing butt fat, just that specific problem. If you're a young guy, you're embarrassed about how you feel, your butt sticks out, you look feminine, then I'm your guy. And that's what you can do. I'm sure you've got a unique story that you can share and that's what people connect to. So that's number two. And the third most important point is be patient. Patience, that's gotta be it. I think it's almost, you'd be naive to grow a fitness channel and, on YouTube or start a channel and think that you're gonna get any traction in the first year. I remember when I got my first 100 subscribers, it might have taken me a couple of months. I was delighted. I was like, what, 100 subscribers? And uh, you look at most of, the most, most of the most popular channels on YouTube, it, they've been doing this for years. Like, look at Mr. Beast. The guy was doing it since he was a teenager. Like, you look at Greg Doucet, Athlean X. These guys are 10 years, 12 years deep. And to think of it, that's not even that long ago. Like if you started in 2008, which YouTube was around by then, I, I was posting videos in 2008, but random stuff and I don't know what happened to the channel, I lost it. But that's even that's, that's 16 years. And uh, just focus on other things as well. You should be earning money in other ways, whether that's doing your personal training, your acting, doing sales for other fitness coaches, that's a great way to make money. And just do your videos on the side. Like I'm doing a video just in, You've got extra hours available. You're not working every single hour of the day. Make the most of it. And the more you do, the better you'll get as well. Be patient and, and use this process of where you're not very good, where you're starting out to use the feedback and the criticism to get better. And you've got to learn to love criticism. You've got to love it. I love it so much. Like, please give me your meanest, most realist advice and feedback and I'll take it on. It's going to shape me. And even when you're doing sales calls or whatever you're doing, the more visceral, rough reactions you get, we're actually gonna refine your process. It's like the creating of a diamond. This goes through all this turmoil and weather and, and lava and, and all this friction, but it becomes shinier, shinier, shinier. And uh, you get a shiny diamond at the end of it. And that's your approach should be to content and making content as well. So hope you found this video useful. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this about fitness, about business. And um, please give it a thumbs, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.